Inside of Stutthof concentration camp, there were a number of SS guards who became known for their brutality and evil. There were many female guards who were schooled in evil, and they had been taught how to treat prisoners and inmates terribly. After the Second World War had come to an end, there were a series of executions that occurred on Biskupia Gorka, a huge hill in Gdansk. This sought to deal with the criminals and guards of Stutthof that had been condemned to death. Amongst them were a number of women, such as Jenny Wanda Barkman and Eva Parides, but also a man who was considered one of the most senior guards at Stutthof, the Commandant of the Guards, Johann Pals. He was a man who was responsible for the running of Stutthof and its deadly policies and practices, and he was known for being an ardent Nazi, who was executed on the huge gallows that stood on the hill in front of 20,000 people. He ultimately paid the price for his crimes. Join us today as we look at the execution of the Commandant of the Stutthof Concentration Camp Guards. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Stutthof Concentration Camp was a huge site set up in the north, to the east of the city of Gdansk. It was a site which was set up and opened almost straight after the war broke out, with the invasion of Poland. The SS had drawn up lists of people to be arrested and imprisoned there and these original prisoners had to establish the infrastructure, creating the barracks. Over time, Stutthof became a huge site, and it held during the war around 110,000 prisoners, and around half of those would never make it out alive. The camp was surrounded by a high-voltage electrified fence, and a crematorium and gas chamber were also added, and mass executions did occur there, with 150 people being driven into the gas chamber at a time. The camp staff were made up of German SS guards, and there were also many female guards such as Hertha Bofa, who was employed there. Bofa became known as the sadist of Stutthof for her evil antics, with the over six foot tall woman stomping prisoners with her jack boots. Many women were conscripted from Danzig and the surrounding cities as the war went on, but one man who came to Stutthof towards the end of World War II was Johann Pauls, who became the commandant of the guards. Johann Pals was born in Danzig on the 9th of February 1908. He joined the Nazi party early on, and then joined Heinrich Himmler's SS on the 1st of April 1931. He was an ardent and long-standing member of the party, and he would then, as the Second World War broke out, serve inside the reserve police force. But as the war expanded following the invasion of the Soviet Union and Operation Barbarossa, Johann Pals served as an infantryman in the Waffen SS, and also in the SS Schutz Reserve as a rifleman. Pals served in his capacity until he was then transferred to the SS Tottenkopf Sturmbahn, and he was then assigned to work at Sachsenhausen concentration camp. Sachsenhausen was another brutal site, which is believed claimed the lives of around 100,000 inmates, roughly half of those who entered the camp. The prisoners were forced to witness the executions there on a daily basis, and conduct incredibly hard labour and work and they were systematically starved to death, and many succumbed to the conditions of the camp, which also included disease which spread around the camp quickly. The guards of Sachsenhausen were known for their brutality and harshness, and many prisoners were forced to march around the roll call yards constantly, and some were forced to march around 40 kilometres a day for little reason. Prisoners were also subjected to medieval-style torture, but at some point Johann Pals was noticed by Heinrich Himmler and the hierarchy of the SS. He was scouted by the head of the SS to go and become the new commandant of the guards of Stutthof concentration camp, and he was transferred to the site near to his hometown. He was in control of the guards, who worked at the site until the camp closed down. But at Stutthof there were prisoners from many different countries, and the conditions of the camp were truly terrible. Dozens of thousands succumbed to disease, starvation and the labour conditions, and the guards drove those who were too weak or sick to work into the gas chambers at the camp. The first executions occurred in 1940, and continued up until the camp was shut down. Johann Pals would have ordered executions, and some of these took place with prisoners who were too sick or weak to work, being injected with phenol. Inmates were also drowned in the mud by the guards, and executions were carried out in the firing range there. Stutthof was evacuated on the 25th of January 1945, and then the evacuations did continue. Many were marched towards the sea, and were then shot inside of the sea by machine gunners, who were stood on the shore. Thousands died in these death marches, 
and it's believed that over 25,000 people succumbed to the evacuations. But Johann Pauls remained in charge of the guards, and after the war he was captured, and he was then brought to the Sturthof trials. These trials were held in Pauls' hometown of Gdansk, and from the 25th of April 1946 to the 31st of March, Pauls was accused of war crimes. In total there were a group of 12 other guards and carpos on trial, with Johann Pauls, but he was responsible as a commandant of the guards, and he was then sentenced to death for his crimes. The execution of Johann Pauls would take place on the 4th of July 1946, on the Biskupia Gorka, a huge hill in Gdansk. On the hill were around 20,000 prisoners, who had gathered to witness the executions of the guards of Sturthof. There were also a number of huge gallows that had been assembled, and these were large structures, which is where the guards were executed. On a central gallows, Johann Pauls was brought out in front of the crowd, along with the other guards which included women such as Gerda Steinhoff. Pauls, the commandant, was placed on the back of the truck, and then from the wooden gallows, a noose was placed over the structure, and whilst he was sat on a stool on the truck, the noose was fastened around his neck. Then slowly the truck drove off, and Johann Pauls was left hanging from the gallows. He was then left for a short period of time before he was confirmed dead, and his remains were then cut down and were placed inside of a coffin. Johann Pauls was the commandant of the guards of Sturthof concentration camp, and along with many of his other guards and staff, he was sentenced to death and was executed on a huge gallows in front of the crowd of 20,000. He was a man who was in charge of the brutes of the camp, and for this he was sent to his death at the end of the Second World War. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.